Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke is a vertical scrolling shooter that was developed by Capcom in 1985. First thing I want to address is that period between the word gun and smoke. Before researching this, I thought it was put there to somehow emphasize the word gun in a weird way, like gun smoke or something like that. I read in a wiki that the period was there to separate itself from the 1950s show Gunsmoke. The show and the game has no relation. Other than being a western, trying to prevent lawlessness from taking over a town and sharing the same name, there's no relation between the game and the show. There's also an interesting article by Jeremy Parrish in Us Gamer Magazine linking Gunsmoke with the Red Dead series so if you're curious I'll provide a link in the description so you can check it out. I remember playing this game a few times at several places. It was easy to get excited over this game because I had the NES version which played a little differently and I remember it being a little bit easier than the arcade version but that may have been a false recollection. In the NES version I remember to get to the bosses you have to find the water poster hidden somewhere on the stage. I remember this pretty vividly because I was playing the game with a friend and we could not find this one wanted poster. We kept circling the stage over and over again looking for it and it was pretty frustrating. I mean we eventually found it but Gunsmoke definitely left an impression on me because of that one experience. Then I played the arcade game and in the arcade game you don't have to find the wanted poster to fight the stage's boss. You just have to make it to the end of the stage. But remember though it's a Capcom game released in 1985. The same year Ghosts and Goblins was released. So you know what that means. That's right. The game's hard. It's not Ghosts and Goblins hard but it's just as frustrating. You know what? It's just as caught as Ghosts and Goblins. I take it back. In this game, you play as Billy Bob, a bounty hunter who's after a couple of outlaws. You have to fight your way through 10 bandit filled stages before the final showdown between you and the Wingate family. You have two guns at your disposal. When you take a look at the control panel, there's three fire buttons. One to the left, right, and forward. The character doesn't fire directly left or right. It kind of fires like at a 45 degree angle, which kind of makes things a little frustrating because if somebody's coming at you directly from the right, Right, let's say you have to go slightly under them to take them out but I know it's maybe asking for too much because most scrolling shooters fire directly forward anyway you can slightly change the angles by using different combinations which may help the game keeps scrolling forward so you have to steer clear of obstacles or you'll get caught at the bottom of the screen you can obtain certain power-ups like boots which can increase your speed a rifle so you can shoot a little farther and a horse which can take some enemy gunfire and help you along the way fun fact the game was designed by Yoshiki Okamoto who also produced such legendary hits like Final Fight and Street Fighter 2. Gunsmoke was ported over to the MSX, Amstrad, ZX Spectrum, and NES. It was included in the Capcom Generation 4 for the PlayStation and the Saturn, Capcom Classics Collection for the PSP, PS2, and Xbox, and Capcom Arcade Cabinet for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Other than that, I'm not sure if it was ported over to any newer systems. So be wary though, if you see this game in the arcade, remember, it's pretty difficult. So you've been warned, and if you're feeling brave enough, I say, play the game and let me know what you think.